Welcome to all of you. In this lecture, we are going to have continuation of fiber alignment and the joint losses. So we are going to discuss fiber alignment and joint losses both for multi-mode as well as the graded index fibers. So let us first start with the multi-mode step index fiber. For multi-mode step index fiber, the lateral coupling efficiency for two similar step index fiber is given by eta lateral approximately equal to 16 into n1 divided by n whole square divided by 1 plus n1 divided by n whole to the power of 4 into 1 divided by pi into 2 cos inverse of y divided by 2a minus y divided by a into 1 minus y divided by 2a square whole to the power of 1 by 2 where n1 is the core refractive index n is the refractive index of the medium between the fibers y is the lateral offset of the fiber core axis and a is the fiber core radius the lateral misalignment loss in decibels is given by loss is equal to minus 10 log eta lateral to base 10 in db. Considering the multimode graded index fiber, the lateral misalignment loss dependent on the refractive index gradient alpha for small lateral offset is given by Lt is equal to 2 divided by pi into y divided by a into alpha plus 2 divided by alpha plus 1 for y varying from 0 to 0 0.2a. The lateral coupling efficiency is given by eta lateral is equal to 1 minus Lt. Now the equation that is the Lt equation can be utilized to obtain the lateral misalignment loss in decibels provided the specific case the parabolic refractive index profile with alpha is equal to 2 then this equation lt will reduces to lt is equal to a divided by 3 pi into y divided by a further it is 0 0.85 into y divided by a in decibels let us go through a problem related to it. The problem statement. A step index fiber has a core refractive index of 1.5 and a core diameter of 50 micrometer. The fiber is jointed with a lateral misalignment between the core axis of 5 micrometer. Estimate the insertion loss at the joint due to the lateral misalignment assuming a uniform distribution of power between all guided modes when the first sub question first consideration there is a small air gap at the joint b the joint is considered index matched so first let us note down the given parameters core refractive index n1 is equal to 1.5 core diameter is given that is equal to 50 micrometer therefore the core radius a will become 25 micrometer then lateral misalignment is given y is equal to 5 micrometer now let us consider this first criteria a small air gap at the joint in such case the coupling efficiency is given by eta lateral is equal to this formula. So this formula is having the parameters n1, n, y as well as a. So all these are known parameters. Make the substitution. So here is the substituted representation. After making a solution, we are going to get the answer as 0.804. Now, Calculating the insertion loss due to the lateral misalignment it is given by loss is equal to minus 10 log eta lateral to base 10 in dB. So this eta lateral it has just now calculated 0 0.805, 804. So make the substitution of that. So we get 
zero point nine five dB. So one statement we can make out of this. Assuming a small air gap at the joint, the insertion loss is approximately equal to one dB when the lateral offset is ten percent of their diameter. Now solving for the B. When the joint is considered to be index matched, that means there is no air gap. In such case, the coupling efficiency is given by eta lateral is approximately equal to 1 divided by pi into 2 cos inverse of y divided by 2a minus y pi a into 1 minus y divided by 2a square whole to the power of half. So we know all the parameters. So that is y and a are the only two parameters present in this expression. So make the substitution of that. After solution, we are going to get the answer as 0.872. Now calculating the insertion loss for this one. So we get loss is equal to minus 10 log eta lateral to base 10 in dB. So eta lateral just now calculated it is 0.872 make the substitution and we get the answer as 0 0.59 dB. Now let us consider the single mode fiber joints. In this case, in the absence of angular misalignment, the lateral offset loss TL is given by TL is equal to 2.17 into y divided by omega square in terms of db where the term omega is the normalized spot size of the fundamental mode and this normalized spot size for he mode is given by omega is equal to a into 0 0.65 plus 1.62 v to the power of minus 3 by 2 plus 2.88 v to the power of minus 6 whole divided by 2 to the power of 1 by 2. Within this, omega is the normalized spot size in micrometer. A fiber core radius B is normalized frequency for the fiber. Now, the insertion loss Ta due to angular misalignment theta, theta given in terms of radians, is given by Ta is equal to. 2.17 into theta omega n1 v divided by a into numerical aperture. It will be in terms of db. Now, where n1 is the fiber core refractive index and n a is the numerical aperture of the fiber. Now, let us go through a problem related to it. The problem statement. A single mode fiber has the following parameters. Normalized frequency V is equal to 2.40. Core refractive index N1 is equal to 1.46. The core diameter 2A is equal to 8 micrometer. Numerical aperture NA is equal to 0.1. Estimate the total insertion loss of a fiber joint with lateral misalignment of 1 micrometer and angular misalignment of 1 degree. Getting into the solution, uh, in the question itself almost all the parameters are represented in a clear, ma clear manner. Therefore, I have not separately mentioned which are all the given parameters. So, let us go through the solution. First, we need to calculate the normalized spot size that is given by omega is equal to a into 0 0.65 plus 1.62 v to the power of minus 3 by 2 plus 2.88 v to the power of minus 6 whole divided by 2 to the power of 1 by 2. So now v is v and a are the only required parameter where a is going to be the uh, radius core radius. So we can obtain from this one core diameter is given. So radius we can obtain. So that is equal to 4 and then the value of v it is also straightforward given that is equal to 2.40 the normalized frequency so make the substitution you are going to get the result as 
3.12 micrometer. Now, loss due to the lateral offset is given by that is equal to 2.17 into y divided by omega whole square. So, y and omega, y is given, omega has been calculated. Make the substitution. We are going to get the answer 0 0.22 dB. So, now let us calculate the loss due to the angular misalignment. It is given by T A is equal to 2.17 into theta omega n1 v divided by A into numerical aperture whole square. Now all are known values in this case. Make the substitution of all those values and we are going to get the answer as 0 0.49 dB. So the first one what we calculated is the lateral offset. The second one what we calculated is the angular misalignment loss. And total loss is given by the combination of both of them. Therefore, total loss is equal to the lateral offset loss and the angular misalignment loss. That is equal to 0 0.22 plus 0 0.49. That is equal to 0 0.71 dB. Thanks for joining.